Give me five. Everybody, quiet now. Hands on your left. Eyes are looking up here. Ears are listening. And sitting down. Let's sing hello. We'll be you all and be you woo. We'll say hello to you. Can you wave? We'll be you all and be you everyone. We'll say hello to everyone. Hello. You can do a little wave like this. Or like this. Or a big wave. Finger play. That's with our fingers. So we can learn how to move them around individually. And we're going to do Thumbkin again today. Where is Thumbkin? Thumbs up. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. And now we're going to do some stretches. Wait a second. I wanted to show you something with Matt Man. If you've ever heard of Matt Man, he's a really cool guy. He helps us learn what body parts are for and how to write letters. But that's down the road. Come over here and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So Matt Man had different parts. He needs a body. That's this part of us. And he also needs a head. Matt Man has one head, one head, one head. Matt Man has one head so that he can think. Matt Man needs some arms. Matt Man has two arms, two arms, two arms. Matt Man has two arms so that he can stretch. He also needs some eyes. Matt Man has two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Matt Man has two eyes so that he can see. And he needs a nose so he can smell. And a mouth, one mouth so that he can talk. Hello! Or eat. Matt Man has two hands, two hands, two hands. Matt Man has two hands so that he can write, clap, or wave. Matt Man has two legs, two legs, two legs. Matt Man has two legs so he can stand. And these are his feet. Matt Man has two feet, two feet, two feet. Matt Man has two feet so that he can walk and kick balls. There's Matt Man. So if you're drawing a person, you can have a head and a body, arms, hands, legs. Feet, don't forget eyes, nose, and the mouth. And then you can draw ears and hair. There's our Matt Man. And our book today is by Eric Carl from Head to Toe. I, oh, we forgot a page. There it is. There's the boy from Head to Toe. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a giraffe and I can bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a buffalo and I can raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey and I can wave my arms. Can you do it? Woo! I am a seal and I can clap my hands. Can you do it? Let me see you clap your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am a gorilla and I can thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do it? Arch! I can do it. I'm a crocodile and I can wiggle my hips. Can you do it? Wiggle, wiggle. I can do it. I am a camel and I can bend my knees. Bend. I am a donkey and I can kick my legs. Can you do it? Remember this? We put our hands down and we go kick. Like a donkey. I am an elephant and I can stomp my foot. Can you do it? 
stump. I am I. And I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? Wiggle in your toes or wiggle them in your shoes. I can do it. The end. All right. I was thinking we could sing a nursery rhyme today. Let's sing. Um, we're going to sing Humpty Dumpty. So get your fist out and make a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Should we do it one more time? Here's Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Good job. Okay, so our activity today, our last thing, is measuring. So I need you to find a measuring tape. Or maybe you have a measuring tape that you can pull for wood and cutting, or you have one that's for fabric, or just a tiny little ruler. I take mine to the wall, and the, I have this girl here, and she is 22 inches tall. But I also brought some of my toys with me, and I'm going to measure them, stack them up against here. Let's see how tall we can make this. And then count it all the way up. I think we made this one up to six. 